What's up guys, Chris here from Mainly Mesh. It is an old fashioned blizzard here. It has been basically for the last like five days. Um, we're in the middle of another big old New England storm right now that's gonna last all the way through tomorrow. We're supposed to get like 18 to 24 inches. All you Canadians are like, oh please, that's not that much. But um, yeah, it's gonna be an interesting few days. So I figured I'd, I'd chop away at a few reviews. Today I'm going to be taking you through all of STX's elbow protection. So I'm going to be taking you through the Stallion and the Surgeon line, large, medium, small, the whole shebang. But first we're going to start with the new Stallion 500. <laughs> yeah, the 500 line uh, of elbow protection. Unfortunately that means I should probably put on a t-shirt, but I don't really want to. Woo! Okay, so... Stallion 500, we are starting with the arm guard. So. Historically, the Stallion line uh, basically evolved from the old Assault line back in the day. And when the Assaults came out, they're what I used pretty much all through high school and college, really. I used the uh, Cells before the Assaults came out, then graduated to the Assaults, both in the kind of mid-range and the extra-large range, depending on whether I was playing midfield or attack. And historically speaking, they're my favorite elbow line on the market. So... I was interesting to see how, if at all, they could improve, but they've done a few things that are that are definitely different with this line that I want to take you through. One of the key features of the Stallion line is the very pronounced high-def polymer uh, protection on the elbow cap and on the upper and lower sections. But what they used to have was three individual sections of the HD polymer, and they're on their second version of that, so the HD2, as you can see here. Now, though, down the middle, they've uh, switched out that high-def polymer with some hex pro material is what they're calling it. I think that's kind of what they used in the cells. Don't don't quote me on that. But basically it's a lighter material running through the middle where you don't get as much brute force and honestly is a stronger part of your arm, right? So you've got kind of the fat of your forearm, the fat of your tricep. Those sections don't need quite as much heavy duty protection. So they were able to cut some weight out of the overall elbow pad while still maintaining a really highly protective pad as well. So kind of interesting to see them going on this on this almost reduced protective uh, design, but really it's designed to, to reduce weight while, while still giving you the most protection in, in the areas you need it, which is on the inner side of your arm and then the elbow cap especially. The other thing you'll notice is that the little velcro strap is actually on the bottom part of your arm so it's actually on the forearm this is the top right so if i slap this on real quick so in the past we're used to seeing if anything this strap would be on the top and i believe actually on the epic elbow pads the strap is only on the top they basically they do have an extra an el elastic on the top part but the only strap is on the bottom which i kind of questioned at first but really if you think about it if you have an extra extra strap on the top the curve of your bicep for the most part is still going to be above that strap so even if you tighten it that top part is still going to slide down if anything this little strap can kind of sit above the thickest part of your forearm and really prevent that whole pad from sliding down just because this whole high def polymer system isn't going to compress at all so actually if anything you probably only need that velcro strap at the bottom which was something i didn't really think about until i threw this bad boy on but as always the stallion line these are incredibly comfortable especially now that they've cut out the extra weight you're going to feel super secure if you're an attackman um, or if you're a midfielder who wants some extra padding these things are super comfy, much less obtrusive than the old ones were, and really probably the, the overall highest quality heavy protection arm guard on the market. Overall, STX took an incredible arm guard and made it even better. They made it lighter, they made it more flexible, they kept it just as protective. And if you're really looking to kind of, you know, not hold back on the price point and really just get the highest quality most protective arm guard you can this is where you should look um, it's something i've used for a long time i really i really trust uh, this line in general and like i said they really one up themselves on this design as well so stx stallion 500 really incredibly high quality po uh, product and that's about it so overall, STX managed to take an incredible product and make it even better, make it even lighter, more flexible, more comfortable, just as protective. Um, so they took my favorite line and somehow improved it. 
really impressed. If you're looking to kind of, you're not too worried about the price point and you're just trying to get the most protection possible with the most comfort possible, this really is the top of the line arm guard out there if you ask me. It's something I've trusted my arms with for a while, especially I was much skinnier in high school if you can somehow believe it. So these have always given me really solid protection and really solid comfort and they made it even better. If you'd like to buy these, please click the link in the bio down below to check them out. Um, they come in a few different colorways. This is the navy blue. I think they usually have like a red, blue, white, um, the usual black. But yeah, that's about it. Thanks so much to STX for letting me try these bad boys on. Let me know if you have any questions about them in the comments down below, the usual. Make sure you check out my next video, which is going to be on the elbow guard, I think they call it. Yeah, the medium sized one. So click this link right here to check out the next video. Thanks so much, guys. I will catch you guys next time.